BizTech Conference Expo, April 28th, 29th, State Fair Park. With us today, the man that makes it all happen, Dan Meyer. Hey, Kirk. How are you? Great. I am so looking forward to the BizTech Expo. What's new this year? There are a lot of things. Uh, there's something new every year, but uh, a couple of different things in particular is that we combine the Bravo Entrepreneur and the IQ Awards program into one. So there'll be a celebration of innovation and entrepreneurship. That left room for an opening for one of the lunches. And we're adding the Women in Business Conference. It's a lunch on the first day. And we've got uh, women leaders of re the respective organizations. They're going to be talking about um, their leadership styles, mentoring, balancing family and work. There are other ideas that you've, you, you're doing this year that make the, the event even better? Here we added a, another seminar room. Uh, we found over the years that, that uh, the attendees love the, the conference component of it. And this year there'll be over 40 seminars uh, between the two days. You know, people are trying to figure out ways to, to run their companies in a more efficient and effective manner. And that, that just gives us that many more opportunities to present those to the attendees. So you come for the CEO Strategies Breakfast for the first morning. The, the um, speaker that we have is, is an author, an economist, an MIT-trained uh, consultant, uh, Kay Plantis, and she has a book, Beyond Price, uh, How to Differentiate Your Company in Ways That Really Matter. And I think her message, especially with the economy today, will, will really ring true with a lot of the attendees. And then at the end of the first day is the Expo After Hours, which is a very large um, uh, celebration party networking opportunity. The next day's breakfast is the Manufacturing Summit. We have four CEOs. They're going to talk about best practices and how those companies do what they do. The second afternoon is a development forum, so architects, engineers, builders, developers, real estate people can network and, and know firsthand about project opportunities and ways that they can do business and, and work with each other. I think the networking uh, possibilities at the, the Expo are always great. And uh, to me, it just seems like a no-brainer. If you're running a business, you got to be here to see the latest and greatest services that can help you run efficiently. Who's going to be there for them? There are a lot of really high quality, a couple hundred high quality service providers. There'll be companies, well, such as, as Smart Interactive, uh, web companies, video companies, software companies, uh, accounting firms, health insurance, property casualty insurance, real estate. There'll be in you know, the green pavilion area. We have a wellness pavilion that's new this year. Really, anything to run your company, anything, uh, coaching companies, you know, leadership development, you'll find it there. And these are organizations that are part of the region's makeup of businesses. And really, the leaders within the region, if, if they're at the expo, um, they are demonstrating that they're in business, they're open for business, and, and they're strong in what they do. And if they're making the commitment to be here, you know, they're showing that, that they're going to be here for quite some time. So you be there. April 28th and 29th, State Fair Park, the 6th BizTech Expo. Kirk Strong, SimCast.